I gotta focus. I gotta focus. I gotta focus. I gotta focus. What's up, everybody? It's me, Erica, and we are down here. Girl, 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 girl. We are down here, girl. This is the second video of the day, and um, we're not gonna be down here for a long time. Okay, the other one was forty minutes. I um don't have nothing to talk about, so let's go see what's down to the blogs. Okay. Um, is I sponsored the now yes. I sponsored the. Let blog. me tell you something. Um, Let me go to the Jasmine brand. That's where I want to go first. So go ahead and like, subscribe, comment. Let me know you stopped by. Okay. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Let me just, while you guys are getting ready, hold on. Let me just, let me, let me just do something here. I can't wait till my little things come. My little holders. I can't wait till they come. I can't think. What's the funniest lie you told to get out of something? Oh, I can't think. I can't think. Uh-oh. Wrong heel, girl. Well, dang, Azalea Banks goes off on Julia Fox after she admits she regrets dating Kanye West. Okay, so it says, girl, you literally were contracted for this job through a celebrity madam in Miami. You knew you was there to be a comfort girl, calling yourself a pawn is giving yourself way too much credit. You wasn't even on the chessboard, sis. LMAO, how long is this bitch gonna ride this I ate chicken Alfredo with Kanye and he got me secondhand Birkin from the real deal brick and mortar store? Shit out. Bitch flew to Los Angeles and was flocking the streets looking for him while he was at Nobu with Drake. LMAO, these white women are something else. And Julia, you fucking blew it by being a fame whore and interviewing about Kanye every fucking five seconds. I told you to shut up and at least ride it out long enough for Kanye to get you a new apartment where you ain't got sneaker boxes in the kitchen, but you didn't listen, dummy. Kanye has kids. You have photos of yourself shooting heroin on the internet. Little girls are impressionable. You are a fucking liability, Julia. Get the fuck over it. Moral of the fucking story is Kanye stop promising bitches Birkins, L-M-A-A-O-O-O. -O -O. <sighs> and get these bitches a Dean and DeLuca tote bag, a Metro card and a number attached to your CVS points card. Let these bitches splurge on some Neutrogena face wash and pay it. Like imagine a with a needle in her arm and photos of her sucking them gay niggas from Salem's dicks, having the nerve to try and posture like she's above Kanye West, a piece of bird shit. Ooh, she went off. Ooh, I don't know. After you read that lawsuit, you're going to probably want to take back all that defense of him. I don't know, girl. That lawsuit that is, is a lot. That lawsuit against Kanye, I was like, ooh, girl. I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. After Con Kanye showed them people that porn on his th on his thing, I believe it. Let's see what the people say. Azalea finally won a round. A broken clock is twice a day. These white women who categorizes an entire race based off of one person. Let let a white girl say this nonsense, right? I usually agree with Miss Banks, but I can't. I I really disagree with her here. Why is she speaking for Kanye though? Right. She's coming off as a pick me, a pick me. And it always be the ones and, and it's no shade. They, they, the way that those, nobody came to her defense when Russell Crowe spit on her, she was in Elon Musk um, circle for a little while. They mistreated that girl almost like the way that they mistreated the rest of these girls. And for you to come out and defend Kanye, when in real life, he would never choose you because you are a dark skinned girl. Right? You would, you, this is like not the heel for that. You don't get on a heel and beat your chest against a white woman to be in alignment with somebody who has been accused of what Kanye West has been accused of. See, that's where y'all fuck up. That's where y'all fuck up because th those men don't align with you. And you're aligning with what? With what? 
your racial identity and aligning to him and coming to his defense to go against these white women, these white girls, these niggas will not, will not choose you. And that's real life. And should not, we shouldn't say it. Should we not say it out loud? But that's real. And it, and it'd be the main ones coming to the defense of these men. And they, and that they would do the same thing to you. Not one of them came to your defense when Riza mistreated you, Azalea Banks. Not one of them. Not one of these men. Not none of them. Nobody came to your defense. None of them. And why are you on a fucking hill, jumping up and down for Kanye West, girl? I just girl, stop. <laughs> Tighten up. Never do that for you. Then, then y'all be looking stupid because y'all, what are you upholding? Why are you defending Kanye West? Why are you defending Kanye West? Because he's he, a white woman is coming out saying that this was her experience with him. Why do you have to make any corrections? What, the, what when you oh, that don't have nothing to do with this. And to be the main, you be the main ones. Y'all be the main ones going up for these weirdos and they would never do it for you. And they would probably harm you worse than they harmed anybody else. And you know it. Because not one man stood up for Azalea Banks when Russell Crowe spit on her. Not one. I didn't hear one man come to her defense. Not one. Didn't she do a movie with the RZA and had some issues with him? And the way they mistreated her, not no one came to her defense. So I'm not sure why you are on top of the hill doing cartwheels and beating your chest for Kanye West, girl. This is not the hill for that. Wrong hill to go against these white women. Wrong hill, girl. That is, just, sometimes it's just best to shut up. Let her say whatever the fuck she wants to say. And please don't invoke Emmett Till, please. All right, girl, I wish the fuck I would. Like, remember how I said that the game gets on the internet and asks questions like he's a 17 or 18 year old boy who just hit puberty? Like these niggas, when I tell you are weird, these niggas are fucking weird. The game, how long your boyfriend gotta be in jail before you start cheating? Like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? But we don't care. He'll never grow up. He won't. Like, girl, grow up. I'm not dating someone who has a jail potential in the first place. He's 50, still asking these juvenile questions. I'm not cheating. We're breaking up. Can we not normalize dating men in jail? How long do men wait? I'm not dating a man that has a chance of going to jail. I'm gonna start cheating when the police says, when the police say, sir, step out of the car. That's my cue. It's not cheating if he's in jail. You can still hold him down and live your life. Let's be real. Ain't no nigga gonna stop their life for you in jail or not. Be honest, right? Depends on what type of boyfriend he was when he was free. I'm holding mines down. Am I NES? First, you gotta learn that mine is already possessive and you don't have to add the S to it. I'm sure you're a joy to be around never cheating soon as they close the car door doesn't he have a baby on the way with evelyn's daughter sir go build a crib and leave us alone with your shenanigans exactly girl why are you asking these type of dumbass questions just dumb uh, sexy red fires back at slim thug mental illness label for those tattooing someone's name on their face yeah i talked about his comments about the robots in one video, but he had another video where he was talking about people who have tattoos on their face and how you book, you probably should be, should get a check. Girl was so funny. Wait, let me let. Name on you. Here he goes. Grow someone's name on you. You might have a mental illness. Like this is a real true assessment. It's a real true assessment. That I have to give you. That he has to you give you. And the crazy, and the, if you got like some shit on your face, it's a hundred percent mental illness. If you put somebody name or if you put somebody face on your face, go get your chick. <laughs> go get your chick, my nigga. Like, go ahead. Girl, that was so ahead. funny to me. Say, man. 
He got his hand in his head. That's a for sure check for you, kid. Straight up, go pick it up, man. Because what made you think to, I want to do that? <laughs> what kind of love you on to where you got to put somebody's face on, face on you? Or Girl. to put their name on you to show that you grow someone's damn like. And then y'all broke up. That's <laughs> <laughs> what he did. He slapped his head and put his head in his head. And then y'all broke up. That's the best part. Oh. And then y'all broke up. Then y'all broke up. Now you gotta get this shit. Now you gotta get this shit. Yeah. Shit I'm clipping that. Go get your check, my nigga. Now you gotta get the shit covered up. Go get your check, my nigga. That is, I uh, when I tell you, I have tattoos. I have tattoos, as you know. I have tattoos. Okay, I'm gonna get this shit covered up. Now you gotta 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 get this not even my own name, not my children. No, uh, uh, no, 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 no. That's always been something that just personal for me. Um, but the tattoo of a nigga's name on your face, I'm with Slim Thug on this one. Girl, go get your check. <laughs> and then y'all break up. <laughs> that shit was so funny to me. Oh, that shit was so funny to me. But it says sexy red responded. Let's see. With a nigga, y'all think I'm fucking it. Like, what did she say? What Lil Wayne say? I'm I'm ill, not sick. Every time y'all see me with a nigga, y'all think I'm fucking it. Like, can I just chill? Can I hang out? God, I'm a grown ass gangster superhero. Leave me alone. Why every time y'all see me with a nigga? It's getting men's name tattooed on you is I just, and I'm not, I know there's like thousands of people who have names of people on them. That is your thing for me. It's a, that's a, that's a no go. I'm all for getting something that maybe symbolizes the person like a number or a symbol, a, something if you want to like commemorate that moment in your life because i feel like for some people tattoos are like commemorations of times in their lives right and so you get the tattoo and but it's someone's name and then y'all will break up y'all will break up okay now you got to go get it covered just don't do it you won't have to do that i don't feel like that's a way to show i do not feel like it's a way to show loyalty, respect, or anything. The I think, you know, I you know what I really think is cute when the people get the baby prints, the baby prints tattoo, their little baby's footprints tattoo with a birthday or something like that. I think that's cute. But there are some people who really do like really good facial tattoos, really detailed everything, contour everything really good and there's some people who get people's faces on them tattoos of people's faces on them and the tattoos look really really realistic really good really good me personally that's not something i would do um no that's not that's not my thing at all names that's not my thing i i've seen women who have their like a guy's name like it was it was somebody oh was it I don't know. It was somebody, a rapper or something. She had her boyfriend's name on her several times and even his nickname on her. And it's just like, like he said, what what type of love is that? Like, I, that's to me, I don't know. And I don't even know if they are still together or what, but it's just like, now every time you look at, it's like you have Jason tattooed on you, Travion tattooed on you, Chad right benson right y'all know anybody with the first name benson <laughs> girl that's a old that sounds like a old old black man name benson anyways what else is going on let's see so sexy red had to say something like that i don't agree that's not my thing tia Mari gets emotional over wedding ring from Corey hardrick 
decides to repurpose the ring and make jewelry for her two children makes me feel like my marriage wasn't a, wa a waste i did i watched this clip on hollywood unlocked and i thought it was i think it's nice to have the jewelry from your created into what into jewelry for your children i think it's nice um the comments are really mean i'd be like what do y'all have against women and it'd be the women girl when someone ends a relationship the way they she's filming a show she's filming a show and they're taking clips of the show and putting it on the blogs more than likely the show was filmed six months to a year ago so it is documenting the time in her life as she was going through her divorce and the grieving process afterwards right because the people in the comments are so mean and telling her to go back to him. Girl, you just realized you made a mistake and go back to him. And she's vis she tells you she's, she wasn't happy. You can tell by the way when she said she was dating again, what she wants somebody to be in therapy, working on themselves, growing. Obviously, that was something that someone else wasn't doing, which is why it's so important to her now i'm just using deductive reasoning so she's talking about now the wedding ring from my marriage the wedding ring from my marriage i'm going to change it into jewelry for my children and y'all are in the comments telling her to go back into a time in her life where towards the end she was not happy why is that the advice? And I really think y'all want to see public figures and celebrities live out fantasies for you. And when they don't live out those fantasies, you get mad at them, the women especially. Listen to some of these comments. I have Let's the see. best friends they threw me this incredible healing party it did what it was supposed to do and see here she is so funny that girl she thought that i should throw my wedding dress in fire <laughs> um and i do so even the producer was like do you want to do it and she was like yes i do but it is sad do you realize she was with that dude like he she was a what i guess we can call she was a virgin i don't know if tia has been with anybody else but she has been with that man for a long time she's been with him for a long time and that is a part of her life it's just like grieving a death of something it's over so she can cry and have emotions about it she's allowed that like this thing where y'all don't, you don't want to allow people to like grieve things and say like, it's over and I can actually cry about it. You just want them to get up and, and like, this was her partner for that length of time. No, nothing lasts forever. But you, if you're with somebody for 20 something years, that's a long time, especially in your formative years, in your formative years, girl. So let the girl cry. Let her cry. These comments are so mean. So here. That's kind of like the thing to say, because usually. She was so happy when that man said, congratulations. She went to the jewelry store and she was like, I'm, you know, I have my jewelry, my wedding ring. You know, I got a divorce. And he said, oh, congratulations. And she was like, what? Nobody ever says that. Everybody acts like, oh, my God, you know, go back to where you were unhappy. Like that shit is wild to me. But it, I think it is. it has to do with people wanting to see someone outside of themselves living up to the fantasy that's been created for us from the very beginning. I truly feel like that. Listen to these comments. She missed that man. Just call him and say, I'm sorry, sis. Damn. I'm so tired of her breakup tour. Y'all realize that he was her first everything, her partner for 20 plus years. The only man she's ever known or been with. Let her grieve. I highly doubt that's something easy to go through. You wanted the divorce. Now shut up and move on. Damn. That's a man. 
over it, searching for sympathy, playing the victim. I be trying to see if it's anybody who follows me because girl, that is so mean. I'm just confused. Ain't she the one who wanted a divorce? I'm sorry, but she's going out sad. I hate that for her. Girl, go get your husband back. I feel like this divorce has become her whole identity. Every video I see her talking about it. She acts like she can't reconcile with him. Y'all don't feel like she's dragging this. I mean, she did want the divorce. I'm a little tired. Now wrap it up, sis. Just stop. You decided to end the marriage. Stop discussing your ex on social media so he can move on. Respect his privacy and that of your children. She needs to shut up. Damn. She thinks this is tough. Wait until he gets married and has more children. Go get your man, girl. And this is someone whose name is Miss Holistic Health and Wellness. Girl, that's what I'm saying. Y'all be fronting. When I tell you y'all be a y'all be fake and front, just like this. This just like this. Hold on. I'm about to find it. I'm about to find it. Y'all be fake and fronting, and it and it's and it's clear it becomes clear every day holistic health and wellness telling somebody to go back to a relationship that she is visibly was visibly unhappy in girl here it is women who are pick me's concubines they have women who are pick me's concubines fake feminists who will talk big shit on tiktok and instagram about women's empowerment but still act like basic bitches behind closed doors i'm talking to y'all two ladies about 75 percent of the young ladies who are on tiktok and instagram and, and x and everything else talking about niggas ain't shit are low-key acting like pick me's behind the scenes they're just branding independence they're not actually independent do you know how i know because they're uncomfortable when they see me come on a facsimile will always be uncomfortable in the presence of the real thing if that really was you then we should be kidding why you're scared right everybody lying you're all lying and i think the beautiful thing about cam newton and the canon being in a space with a woman who was high functioning enough to just tell the truth is that she was able to finally tell them the truth. Because when you're a liar, when you're a low-functioning, high-value liar who can afford to incentivize silence, you only attract attractive, low-functioning women. Come on, Blue Taluzma. She said it. I played that before for y'all. But a lot of y'all are lying. A lot, a lot of y'all are just disgruntled pick -me's. That's all y'all are. And if a woman actually leaves a man and is empowered, truly empowered and leaves a man a lot of y'all don't want to see it y'all don't want to see a woman empowered and leave and take and not even see herself and see this man so much as an extension of her that she acts like she like she can't cut it off and then you were in a marriage where there was nothing. It was her saying, hey, this is it. I'm I'm done. There was, we didn't hear, we've never heard of Corey cheating on her. We don't know what, what the divorce was about. But for me, when Tia was explaining what she wants, when they were saying like she's dating and stuff like that, and then she was like, I think I'm gonna take a pause on dating. I think she said something like that. But she was talking about what she wants in a man. And a lot of it was, I need him to be in therapy. I need him to be doing the work. I need him to be willing to grow. To me, all the things that she's saying that she wants up front is something that somebody else wasn't doing. I'm just going to go out on a limb and, 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 and put that together. I don't know. But the way that those, y'all heard the comments? Y'all heard the comments? Take us out of the group chat. But y'all are on a gossip page telling the gossip page who took the clip and put it on the gossip page for you to see you are saying we don't even want to see this anymore you're the one who wanted a divorce let him have his privacy he's not saying anything she's filming a show y'all just want to be mean and i don't like it i don't like it you don't have to be you don't have to be mean keisha cole and k michelle are starting to look alike girl i'm not gonna even get into that Okay, let's see. Now I'm on the neighborhood talk. Smart move. Trina reveals Beyonce and Michelle convinced Kelly Rowland to feature on Here We Go. Here we go. Here we go again. Hey, I'm not going to play it. It has 888 likes. Hey, 888 comments. 
I'm always coming. Do y'all come across angel numbers when you um, are looking at comments or likes and stuff? I always come across them. Yeah, we like that song. Oh, Tabitha Brown says she had to check a friend for sitting on her husband's lap. Unask my husband if you want to leave this apartment alive. Let's hear what she had to say. Okay, let's see. Unask my husband. Let's see. Her friend with chance and went to sit on his lap. I said, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> you lost your mind. <laughs> Unask my husband. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to, if you want to leave this apartment alive, <laughs> my friends was very friendly with Chance and went to sit on his lap. I said, "Oh, wait a minute. yeah, that's too much. That's too much. That's too much." Remember when Toya, when what's his name, set Toya on his lap? What's his name, Curtis? Tired ass, po ass, raggedy ass, slow Ooh. ass niggas. My face, whenever I see Curtis, I can't wait till Mary. When is Mary to medicine coming back? That's what I want to know. Everybody else is coming back. Oh, I did a review of New York City, but I was like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I was in the best mood. So I don't know. I have to watch it again. I don't know. I don't know if I was in the best mood for the video. So I, I was watching it. I like trying to edit, and I was like, Ugh, are you okay? <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I gotta go. Take care of each other. Um, protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments. Peace.